Thanks for joining this introduction to the new folder feature in Concord. In this video, we'll go over how to create a folder and how to move lists into and out of the folders you create. More support videos about the new folder feature can be found on the Concord support page. In the past few months, the Concord team has received a substantial amount of feedback asking for a more robust way to organize lists than our previous system of labeling allowed for. In response to that feedback, the Concord team created the Lists Manager, which allows users to be able to create folders in which to organize their lists. The Lists Manager can be found by logging into Concord and opening up the Lists panel on the right-hand side of the program. When you open up the Lists panel, you'll notice that all of your existing lists have a small symbol next to them that looks like a little piece of paper. This is the lists symbol. Folders have a small white box next to them that look like a manila folder. If you previously used the labeling system in Concord, all of your labels have been automatically converted into folders, and any list which you had previously stored under a specific label, can now be found in the folder with the title that corresponds to that label. For example, if you previously had a label called Sunday Scripturals, any list which was labeled Sunday Scripturals can now be found within the folder Sunday Scripturals. If you're interested in creating a new folder, you have two options. First, you can come down and click or tap on the Create New Folder button. Second, you can click or tap on the three bar menu and then select Add Folder. Both the three bar menu and the Create New Folder button will bring you to this area in which you can title and save a new folder. I'm going to title this folder Ideas for Work and then I'll click or tap Save to be sure that my folder is created successfully. To move a list into a folder, you have two options. First, you can hover over the title of the list that you're interested in moving into a folder, and then click and hold, or tap and hold, the name of that folder while you drag it up over the name of the folder you're interested in moving it to. When the name of the folder you're interested in moving your list to is highlighted in green, you can then release your list and it will automatically be placed within the folder you selected. You can know that your list was successfully moved into a folder because the name of that list will be slightly indented under the name of the folder. Second, to double check that your list was successfully moved, you can click on the small gray arrow next to the name of the folder which you moved the list to. If you click on that arrow and the name of your list disappears, you know the list was successfully moved. To see the list again, simply click on the arrow. The second way to move a list into a folder is to select the three dot list menu next to the name of the list you're interested in moving. Selecting that will bring up an option called Move to Folder. Tap or click on Move to Folder and you'll see a pop-up with all of the folders in which you could put this list. I'm going to click on Ideas for Work because I would like to move my list to this folder. I'll then come down and click on the Move button in the lower right hand corner of this pop-up. And you'll see that my list was automatically moved into the folder Ideas for Work. If you're interested in moving a list out of a folder, you have two options. First, if you would like to move a list out of one folder and into another folder, you can click the three dot list menu, select Move to Folder, and you'll notice a similar pop-up appear as before. Here, you can tell that you're in the folder Ideas for Work. To move this list to another folder, simply click the back arrow. And then you'll see your other folders which you can choose to move this list to. 
I'm going to move this list to Wednesday Readings. So I'll select Wednesday Readings and then click on Move. And my list will now be moved into my folder, Wednesday Readings. The second way to move a list outside of a folder is to hover over the name of that list, click and hold or tap and hold depending on the device you're using, and then drag that list over the name of other lists which are not in a folder. Once your list is hovering over the name of other lists that are not in a folder, you can release and your list will automatically be pulled out of your folder. Finally, I'd like to show you how you can quickly view all of the lists you have. To open up all of your folders so you can see each of your lists, you can come over to the Expand button. Clicking this button will open up all of your folders and show you all the lists you have. To see a more simplified view of your lists manager, you can click that button again, which will collapse your folder. Thank you very much for watching this video, and be sure to check out our other support videos on the Concord support page.